Y'all, Trump gonna get us all killed. That's what Trump finna do. Yeah, I'm sitting here watching the news. Every foreign policy there in the president, uh, president Trump touches were worse off than we were before. He gonna get us all bombed. That's what he getting ready to do. ...are rallying behind a resolution that would require the president to seek congressional approval before taking any further military action. The Senate's top Republican... Lord have mercy. Lord, cover us, Jesus, please. including the secretaries of defense and state will brief the full senate on the developments in iran on wednesday Lester. so much fallout from all this kristen thank you and as with policy and politics of this play out the real life consequences child child i'll be back child here she come y'all here she come cut the light on big girl <laughs> Here she is, y'all. The big girl been having a car all day today. I don't like driving anymore like I thought I did. <laughs> I thought I did until I got to driving. I'm like, yeah, I don't feel like going this. <sighs> Y'all, so how they was didn't have nothing in that doggone store. Wait, why does this camera look like this? This all they had in her. Okay. They didn't have no sight or nothing. I'm like... So she gonna come back, y'all, and tell us how her day went. She's been having a car all day today. Ooh, child, look at my legs. They ashy out. Y'all took a bath. So I haven't put no lotion or nothing on my legs yet. Okay. <laughs> so come on, Dede. Yeah, her room look a mess. Yes, it does. So, uh, how was it? Tell, tell us all what all you did today. First. Where did I go? I went to Dollar Tree. Okay, you too close to the camera. You know. First, I went to the Dollar Tree. Second. Have I a went... seat. We took this camera. It's not. Yeah, yeah. You showing in my whole home. I don't know. Okay, if you would sit down. Okay, so what else? What you do? I went to the Dollar Tree this morning. Went to my job this morning. Then I went to my cousin's house. Ended up staying over there for a little bit. Took her to work and then I went to the mall. What did he do? He dropped. I But I went to the mall. Me, my best friend, and Maja went to the mall. Y'all, she took the car to the Galleria. That means she had to. I didn't want to couple with her getting on the highway because there's two highways she would have to get on to get to the Galleria. So she took the street oh before i went to to the mall i went to my dad house so she been doing some traveling today all by herself y'all i had a taco bell earlier oh she been doing some eating what's in that taco bell i didn't get no nachos they ain't got nachos at taco bell do they yeah they got nachos at taco bell what what you get from taco bell two soft tacos oh I don't like soft tacos. I mean, I don't eat them, but I must prefer the crunchy tacos. So you ain't got you some Taco Bell. She ain't had some Panda Express. She just been a busy little teenager today in my car. Didn't have no accidents. Was you scared to make turns? A little bit. <laughs> Which, I was driving on that narrow bus street. Which narrow bus street was that? No, it was narrow bus street out there. I'm just making a dog on this. I'm just. What Hanley? What street? Like as if I, we going out to the movies. Going out to the movies. Oh, you... Why are you driving on, uh... Why are you driving on, um... Uh, Look, what you mean? That's how I got back. Chris. Right, but why you have to drive on, um... Because I went through not your city. Not your... You city. Coming back from the mall? Yeah. And going through your city? I knew going that way, I know where I was going. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you went a long ride. I told you if you go straight down Hanley... Hanley all the way down like you're going towards your where you used to the metro I link. Confused, so. Oh Lord. <laughs> this straight down like you're going towards Auntie Sylvia's house? 
You know when you get to Auntie yeah, Sylvia Street? I, I like I said. Lord, she went the long way. Coming back, I got confused, so. It was dark, wasn't it? Yeah. That's what threw you off. That's why I don't want you driving my car at night. I see. I just got confused on the same time. Oh. Well, at least you found your way back, right? I knew I was going to, either way, I was going to be somewhere by U City by the time I was going back. So I was like, okay, I know where U City is. I know how to get back coming from U City. So I'm cool. I don't know how you got confused with just taking Hanley Road straight. Because, I, no. All the way. I made a wrong turn. I should never went a certain way first. I can't remember what street was, but. You mean from Clayton? I think I turned. Thinking I was going the right way still. When you was in Clayton? And I went. So. Okay, so which way did you come out of Clayton to know where you was going? Because you know... You know, that I hopped right there? Yeah. Come all the way back past that. Okay. Which ended up taking me through the damn loop. So I was just keeping all the way straight. Okay. I know once I had got by like a little gas station... Because at first I was using the GPS. You're right. And it was telling me to make a left. So, after that, that's kind of where it threw me off at. Okay. Because I think it was trying to take me a different way. Okay. But once I got to UC, I just, I knew once I got to Delmar Loop and see UC, I knew where I was going. Okay. Okay. And your gas tank almost on half. Almost on half after you input. Ten dollars just a little while ago and eight dollars in there. I would put ten dollars in right now. I know, but you put eight dollars in there before. Right. Uh -uh. Driving too fast and no doubt you had to charge your thing in there. But I took this out. See, that's what I'm talking about. Now all that that's about what? Eighteen dollars worth of gas put in my gas tank. Eighteen dollars that I had used. I mean eight dollars that it came out of my account, but the ten dollars I did again. I know, but total total. That's almost twenty dollars worth of gas. My tank should be on half full. Well, eighteen dollars worth of gas. It's like right there in between. Them. Right. Child, let me get off this phone. About to make me upset. That's what you get for letting teenagers drive your car. Well, y'all, she did it. You eating like you starving? Starving, Marvin. I cook dinner. I only well I only cooked um some more chicken breast. But y'all we had a good dinner um Sunday. We ate real good. We had leftover what we had for Thanksgiving. I had macaroni and cheese and um my cabbage. I mean my greens and cabbage together and um candy yams and dressing. Baby, it was good. Uh, when you don't eat that type of, when last time we had that food was on Christmas and I put it all in the freezer. It was so good. And I fried some chicken breast. It was delish. Okay. So, that's the end of your driving for a good little while, child. Anything else you got to say? <laughs> that's it. That's all, y'all. <laughs> so... She made it back home safe and sound. Hopefully, I don't see no scratches, no nothing. Did you almost have an accident? Mm -hmm. No, nope, that's good. She did good to be by herself for the first day taking the car. So, today started off with her saying, because I couldn't get the my phone to transfer my my um, my uh, stuff that I had videotaped into my computer. And I was getting ready to get up to go to the Dollar Tree store to get me another uh card and she said gammy why not go why don't want you let me drive the car today i was like child that's right I forget you do get your license go on up to the store and give me a a ubn card and so that's how it went now whatever type of car you call it y'all know what i'm talking about yeah i know i can't i get all these abbreviations all mixed up so anyway so she went to the uh, dollar store, went from the dollar store, her going up to a job, and then she came back home. Then it went from there, gave me kind of go to my cousin's house, Keisha's house, Lanaya's house. And I said, okay, then it went from Lanaya's house 
to my other cousin's house. Then it went from there. Get me, can I go over my girlfriend's house and go to the mall? I said, Lord Jesus, help me, Jesus, help me. I was surprised she said yes, yeah. but I kept calling every second. <laughs> I was doing that. Let her know why I was there, what I was doing, why I was That's going. right. I needed to know everything. Every time I was coming from a location, okay, I'm coming from here. This is where I'm going now. I will call you when I get there. Especially time I'm going out there to that mall. That takes some, that's a little ways from here. It's not, it's not far, 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 but it's far enough for her to be driving, talking about some getting on some highway and I'm not in that car. I was like, no, nah, you're not, you're not getting on the highway because that means you have to know how to get all the way over to the fast lane to get <laughs> over to the I-70. Now, 70 to I-70 would take her out to the mall. Now, now, she know how to get on the highway, but she stays in the slow lane. Y'all know what the lane I'm talking about, the passing lane and the slow lane, so... I was like, nah, child, you gonna, if you're going to go, you're going to go through the street way. So that's the way you went, right? Yeah, so she did pretty good. Not bad. It was a long drive. It's a long drive, but I, hey, my car is in one piece. You know, y'all got to, you, hey, look, when you when you teenager get that license, y'all, you still have to use common sense with letting them drive your car by themselves. You know, they are new to the road still. Especially highway driving. It's totally different than driving on the street. Okay? You got to know what you're doing when you get on the highway. You got to know how to switch these lanes when people are flying and stuff like that. Right, Diana? You got to know. You got to know how to move from lane to lane. I'm sleepy. From sleepy? Oh, my God. I can't believe it. It seemed like I've been in the car for so long. Sleepy? No, we, no. See, see what I'm talking about? See, she just said she was sleeping. Kid falling asleep behind the wheel. Absolutely not. Well, listen to her. No. I wasn't sleeping until now that I just got in here and just sat down. Oh, okay. I thought you were talking about driving. No. Nah, I'm no. Nah. Girl. I'm when I was you driving. better stop playing. Okay. I'm now I'm at home sitting down. You've been gone all day. Exactly. So now you see how I feel when I have to work eleven to seven. On the day that I'm off, no, no. and then you want to run up and down with your tongue hanging out your mouth. I don't think I'll be on the night work. that on the day that I got off work at seven o'clock in the morning. Then here it is, you want to go run up and down the street all day. Yeah, no. I'll be tired. I'll be having to get my sleep. I, got one night off too. I don't think I'm gonna drive to work. Uh, yeah. No. Just see now, you see how I be feeling when I ain't worked all day and worked yeah. all night. Exactly, I'm be at work and I ain't gonna feel like driving. I'll be home. trying to come home and go to sleep. I don't know. Some of y'all can hang like that, but I can't hang like that no more. I can't. I'm. I'm. No, I can't. I cannot be up all night and come home and be up all day and then got to go back to work. I can't do it. I'm sorry. I sister, I'm got to get her sleep, baby. I don't know about the rest of y'all, but I got to get my sleep. Okay, I give myself a limit of being up. Okay. I do what I need to do around the house, clean, whatever, wash clothes, whatever. And eventually, Sister Emma got to go to sleep. I'm sorry. I can't do it. So now this young child see what it means to be in the streets all day. Okay, y'all. So uh, this is going to do it for this little blog. Quick and simple and fast. Just wanted to see what this child... How she felt about driving all by herself. Like all by herself. Yeah, I've been at home all day. All day. Worrying myself. Oh, my God. Lord, please don't let this child tear up That's my car. That's the reason why I kept calling. I'm like, yeah, okay. Every time I call, what happened, child? I'm like, nothing. I'm just. <laughs> we didn't right wish you would call. I'd be, oh, Lord, what happened? Give me some time. She would have it. I called her mom on her job. I said, your daughter got my car. Oh, Lord, I'm so nervous. I don't know what to do. She texted me, she texted me early this morning. She was like, why you ain't telling me she let you drive school? I'm like, I didn't even have school today. <laughs> I thought I told her that. Child, I was a nervous wreck all day today. I knew she would be okay. Long as she did what she, you know. See, I had the glasses on. Have your glasses on. Concentrate on the road. Remember what I told well, you. Don't I let. Know, when I first, first started driving. You know how when I first, first, when you first start teaching me how yeah. to drive and I be sitting real Yeah, real close. Real yeah. That's how I was driving. Well, that's all right. You'll get comfortable. I was driving just like that real slow because I'm like. That's right. Don't let nobody. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Don't let nobody make you feel uncomfortable. Don't let nobody rush you to driving fast. You, yeah, the tape cut out. So, but like I said, you don't let nobody rush you when you driving. You do what you do. Take your time. So, okay, y'all, I'm going to go ahead and end it because the tape is getting full. So, until next time, don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the like button and hit the subscribe button. If you're not a member of the Montgomery Family Channel and if you like what you see, come on over and join the Montgomery Family Channel, baby. Yeah, honey. So, until next time, smooches to everybody. All right, you guys. I'll catch you guys on the next vlog, baby. All right, y'all. Bye.